and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. You have the Rhino, you have Average Patrol America, and we have this beer. This beer here is from Miller. This is the Miller Fortune. Ooh, Miller Fortune. 6.9, is it? 6.9% alcohol? 6.9? Yes. <laughs> yes, 6. .9. All right, it's so a 6.9% alcohol by volume. Miller Fortune is a bourbon-esque beer. Sure. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's what they're trying to go for. So it's not barrel aged. No. It doesn't have bourbon added to it. Nope. Um. Well. <sighs> yes. Nothing. Nothing. They did. This says it's best by June of 2014. All the beers we have tonight are actually notched or say that. Let's forget the fact of what kind of beer they are, but it does say it. <laughs> All right. All righty. So your color again, a uh, brassy orange. No head any longer, but it was a crystal white head. Fuck. It smells like Miller. It, yeah, it smells like a super sweet macro. I mean, there, what were you gonna say? I was gonna say, if you're going to, if they're making it as a bourbon beer, uh, you'd figure it would have more weedy or rye or, well, let's be honest, most big companies, be it bourbon or whiskey or whatever, is using corn to make their mm -hmm. beer, for the most part, uh, neutral grain spirits. But you'd think you'd get more of a. Uh, more of a cereal grainy scent. I mean, it smells like Miller. It smells like what Miller smells like. Uh, get a little bit of that. It, it does, but it's a little sweeter. Yeah. You're, well, I was going to say, you're getting almost an ice beer sweetness to it. And you're getting the, the slight wet cardboard oxidization that is the smell that most Miller products give off. Everything that you just said makes you want to get up, walk into your laundry room, Pour this right down the drain and come back and turn off the camera. Gotta give it a fair shake. It Damn might it. be good. Do you? Is that what we do? Uh, I'm just a beer reviewer, right? So are you. We don't like beer. Well, there is the uh, Miller taste. Lots of corn. Oh boy, lots of corn. Ooh. Yeah, okay. So the first thing I'm gonna say is when I read uh, the press release for this and, you know, the whole hype-up factor, like, oh, you know, this is our whatever. I read something that said they wanted the, the malt, the, the, they said the malts itself gave off this bourbon-like characteristic. Uh, characteristic. And uh, I don't know what the fuck they were thinking or who was taste-testing it or... I want to know what type of bourbon they were drinking. I mean, in all honesty... For any type of whiskey, it is giving off that cereal grainy dryness, which a lot of whiskeys do. It it does dry your palate out a little bit, and you get more cereal grain on it than most most beer would. But I mean, when you're looking at bourbon, when you're looking at whiskey, when you're looking at rye, when you're looking at scotch, you're looking for like vanillas or toffees or wood or and I know the wood's coming just from the barrel, but I'm just going on with the flavors, right? Leather, leather comes in a lot of them. Or or flavors that just isn't super sweet corn. Because maybe maybe it's my inferior palate. Or my stupid palate, as Lee told me. Although I told Lee that before. But honestly, at the end of the day, this is just like a super sweet, corny macro beer. And that's what it is for me. I'm not really getting... I can't discern the flavors uh, aside from that. There's no... like I, I'm not picking up this or picking up that. It's just like get a huge, huge corn... Uh, characteristic, and then it's just, it's sweet. Like you said, a little bit of dryness, but 
I guess the only saving grace I would say for this for me is it's 6.9%. So, and you don't really get it. I don't get much of the alcohol. I don't even get a warming. It has it has a high carbonation factor. Like most macros. It. Like 98% of the macros. Shout out to you, Brad. Um. Inoffensive. Easy to drink. High alcohol percentage, not a bad price. Uh, so right there's the four pluses on it. So that's that's going to be at least four marks. High ABV brings it up to five marks without an alcohol astringency in your throat. Um, you know what? I don't mind Miller. If I'm drinking, if I'm drinking a macro beer, I'll pick sometimes an MGD because it just goes down really easily. This actually smelt like the wet cardboard oxidization, but you don't actually taste that anywhere in it. Uh, it it's cleaner. It's cleaner and crisper than a regular Miller product. Does it taste like bourbon at all to me? No. Does it have bourbon-esque characteristics to me? Only in the drying graininess on it. Even when you do the... Uh, even when you do the wine slurp across your tongue, you get a little bit of characteristics, but not much. Um, in all honesty, I could drink it. I have no problem drinking it, and it'll get me drunk. And my dogs are barking, because they're idiots. Uh, Isn't someone here? Probably. Yeah. Uh, 6.5. I actually don't mind it. I would, I would drink it. But... I'm not going to go out of my way to get it again. If I'm in the, I can't get it in Canada. I have to get it in the U.S., which is why I'll probably never buy it again because I can bring six other bottles back into Canada. All right. So what I would say, for me personally, is that I don't like macro beers for the most part. This has the overwhelming corny flavor, and I am not a fan of it. And we have Aaron Duchette coming down the stairs in the middle of a review, which is awesome. Doesn't matter. It's a Miller Fortune review. It doesn't really matter at all. Like there's... Drain pour. See you guys later. Yeah. Done. Well, pretty much. Uh, so yeah, he gave it a six seven six seven five six five six five, which is you know that's I'm kind of surprised that you did, but I'd give it a four personally. I I no, I just the corn the overwhelming corniness to this is like every other macro ever had. It's super sweet. It is somewhat refreshing, but you know what? So is water. And uh, you know, there's some out there that say reviewers that drink craft beer beer don't really like beer. I guess I don't like beer. Cheers. Alrighty guys. <laughs> Bye-bye.